Hi, I'm Steve Millet. I'm a caver from the Central Connecticut Grotto. And we are at Xanadu Cave, which is off the beaten track if you can find it. Right? It's not limestone, it's not a solutional cave, but the mountain is kind of falling apart. And you have these spaces in between rocks as the mountain slowly, over millions of years, is falling off of itself. Uh, caver Bill Griffin uh, found that entrance while walking his dog behind us and took Tony Hopkins to see it and said, look, we found a huge cave in the woods and there was warm air blowing out of them. So they, they went in that day and got to the top of a 35 foot drop and didn't go any further. So they contacted me and Felicia because they know we know we're good with vertical and ropes and asked us to come help set up and safely go down the rappel and see the rest of the cave. We explored it and mapped it maybe 10 years ago so we're heading into, this is the right entrance, where we climb down this slope and there's a nice comfortable room right at the bottom. And there's kind of feet holds and stuff along the way, so it's not too bad. I kind of get in, go on my stomach. So now my feet are on a ledge. In this particular area, this is at least the biggest known cave close to 1,500 feet in length and 120 feet deep. So it's a pretty complex system and it, it's amazing. It's almost like it was made for humans. You know, the sizes of the passage are comfortable. Everything's climbable, you fit through everything. So this room is always kind of cool how it's a curved wall in a fracture cave. So, you know, somehow the wall split and gave us a nice, you know, 90 degree bend that's curved. We have like this thin piece going this way and going that way. And there's kind of two separate fractures that join into this big room we're in. It's really a, a complicated system and it's, it's really amazing how it's all joined. No problem. Well, that's not bad at all. Woo! <laughs> way to come down. The bottom we found that we weren't the first people there. Climbers 30 or so years ago have a little bronze plaque with their names and initials on it in a little shrine. To us it was a surprise every corner we turned. But I think my favorite thing is as you get deeper down into it you see beautiful red sandstone, you see beautiful white quartz crystals, you know, an inch nice quartz crystals. It, it's really nice from a geology standpoint. And you're going, we're literally going through layers of geology in this cave, and it's a, it's prevented from you know being weathered from outside. There's no moss on it. It's clean rock, and it, it's really beautiful. So that that's probably my favorite part. There's been we've done back counts for the New York DEC and reported to them. A biologist at a local university has surveyed for microorganisms, and then it's even covered in a, a cave geology book. This cave is mentioned. See the bottom. It's a lot less scary than outside. So two minute layoffs. Was, was it's a really fun cave, but it's got some dangerous, exposed climbs, and there has been at least one, you know, pretty serious injury here from someone falling. So you got to take it serious and, and know your limits.